Hi, in this problem we're going to find the limit as x approaches 3 of this rational function. So the first thing you want to do when evaluating limits is take this number and attempt to plug it in. If you do that, you end up with 3 minus 3 on the bottom. In other words, you end up with 0 on the bottom, which is really bad, right? You can't have 0 on the bottom. So we need to do something else, and that something else is going to be attempt to factor. So let's try that. So let's see. In the numerator, we have a quadratic. So let's just try to factor by guessing. So x, parentheses, x, parentheses, and then here we just still have the x minus 3. So because this problem should work out, uh, and we need two numbers that multiply to negative 3, I'm going to guess that one of them is negative 3. So if one of them is negative 3, that means the other one is going to have to be 1. And now let's go ahead and check our work. So let's see. x times x is x squared. That part's pretty easy. And then negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. That part's pretty easy. What we really need to check is this middle term. So the middle term, the way to get it, it's always the inside and the outside. So the inside is negative 3x and the outside, when multiplied, is x. If you add these, sure enough, you get negative 2x, right? Negative 3x plus x is negative 2x. So it totally works out. Boom, these go away. Let's write that limit sign one more time. x approaches 3. And we're left with just x plus 1. Really nice. And at this point, we can go ahead and just plug in the 3 for the x. When we do that, we always drop the limit sign. So this will be 3 plus 1. And that's equal to 4. And that's it. That would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.